Allegedly, Jada went on a visit to see him and during that visit, she claims that Tupac proposed to her. Hi everybody, welcome back to the AV to the 7th Power YouTube channel where we talk about all things true crime, law, and debauchery. This is your source for all captivating stories and in-depth analysis and we have been heavily intertwined in the Tupac Shakur murder case. Today we're diving into a different aspect of Tupac Shakur's life and that is his involvement with Jada Pinkett. It seems to be a passionate and complex relationship. Here's what we know. We know that Jada and Tupac had a close friendship dating back to their youth when they were both growing up in Baltimore. They attended an arts school where one was really into acting and music and the other was also into acting but they were both creatives at heart. Their love story blossomed amidst a tumultuous world of entertainment where Tupac's fame grew at a rapid rate and Jada was also on the rise in her career as well. Eventually Jada Pinkett ended up marrying the best actors in American history, Will Smith. The Fresh Prince. Their connection, Jada and Tupac, was rooted in authenticity, respect, and a profound understanding of one another, and they stayed connected after Jada was married. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the significance of their relationship on Tupac's life and how it has influenced his choices and actions, but also how it's influenced Jada's choices and actions. And with that being said, we're gonna start with a poem that Tupac actually wrote for Jada. And it reads the following. You are the omega of my heart, the foundation for my conception of love. When I think of what a black woman should be, it is you that I first think of. You will never fully understand how deeply my heart feels for you. I worry that we'll grow apart and I'll end up losing you. You bring me to climax without sex and you do it all with regal grace. You are my heart in human form, a friend I could never replace. So we can see that Tupac had a profound love for Jada. Here is where the plot thickens, dear viewer. Jada Pinkett Smith, as you all know, has had a rocky relationship with Will Smith over the years. They have beautiful children together and Jada is also the stepmother of Will's first son. It has come out recently. Since Keep D's arrest on September 29th, multiple storylines have been in the news about Jada and Tupac, but also just Jada and Will's relationship because Jada Pinkett has launched a book approximately three days ago. That book is called Worthy. I'm gonna briefly read you the Amazon description of this book because it is now a number one bestseller in black and African-American biographies. It reads, a griping, at times painfully honest and ultimately inspirational memoir from global superstar and creator of Red Table Talk series, Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada was living with what many would view as a fairy tale of Hollywood success, but appearances can be deceiving. And as she felt more and more separated from her sense of self, emotional turmoil took hold. Bearing no detail, Worthy chronicles her life from a rebellious youth running the Baltimore streets as an observer and participant in the drug trade to the deep bond she shared with Tupac Shakur. From the moment when they met to her move to Los Angeles and the successful career she built on her own terms. To becoming the wife of superstar Will Smith and mother to Jaden, Willow, and bonus mom to Trey. The roller coaster from the depths of depression to the heights of self acceptance and spiritual healing. Worthy is a woman's journey to finding herself again. Jada is on this tour. Two pieces of news came out as she is doing her book tour and on speaking engagements, promoting the launch of this book. She talked about being separated from Will Smith for approximately 
approximately six to seven years. Will has then gone out to put out a statement saying that Jada's his best friend and he supports her. This is all following what we like to call the slap last year, an altercation at the Grammys between Will Smith and Chris Rock over a joke that was made over Jada that Will thought was insensitive. Their like marriage is just, it's all over the place. The other piece of news, Jada this week was on a podcast saying that Tupac allegedly proposed to her. In 1995, Tupac was convicted of sexual assault and he was doing time in Rikers. Allegedly, Jada went on a visit to see him and during that visit, she claims that Tupac proposed to her. Now, a lot of people are skeptical about this because Tupac had a girlfriend at the time. It's a very interesting timing from my perspective, at least from a legal standpoint. Keith D is about to go to trial. This has been all over the news. And this is not minimizing the relationship that she had with Tupac, because I believe it's a real one. Tupac's tumultuous relationships with certain individuals, people like Suge, people like Diddy, all of those relationships have potential consequences. There's speculation whether this has anything to do with Keith D and the saga that we're seeing play out in court right now, and the answer is no. I think that Jada is really, really capitalizing on the convenience of this news story right now and the convenience of Keith D running around the internet, self snitching on himself for videos. They could be entered into evidence, two of which come from Vlad TV and the other two come from the art of dialogue. He thought he had a proper deal. He thought he was safe, but that deal was breached the minute he started talking because confidentiality no longer existed. That's why Keith D's in trouble. However, as far as Jada's involvement legally with this case, I, I don't see it happening. Jada and Will's situation is just, it's just too public. You know, there was even the letter that was released from the daughter Willow. The letter reads, Dear Tupac, I know you are alive someplace. I think that my mommy really misses you. Can you please come back? Can you come back so my mommy and me can be happy? I wish you were here. I really do. Love, Willow. I mean, guys, Jada has put out actual images on her Instagram of letters that Tupac has sent her with Tupac's signature on it. It's just an interesting story. No legal implication, but a lot of speculation regarding the timing of this. In conclusion, the romance between Tupac and Jada is a compelling and heartwarming part of Tupac's legacy. While it may not directly relate to the crime, it provides valuable insight. What did you think about this whole debacle. Do you think Jada is capitalizing on the timeliness of all of this happening? Or is this just a clout chasing thing? I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments. Of course, we're going to continue to push out content over here. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.